Hello guys, this is KOK Party Favors. Today we're going to be making uh, some transparent treat bags. And this is what it will look like. Okay. And the way I make them is I use this Scotch Thermal laminating pouches. I use those. And what you can do is take your glitter and any other item that you want sealed into the plastic. You will sprinkle that. Here's one sheet I have here. I'm getting ready to laminate it. And always have something that's a little sturdy underneath it. So when you place your glitter or sequins down, they will, you know, almost try to stay in, in the uh, placement that you put it in. It's kind of hard to keep it exact. So what you do is I am going to put some white little snowflake glitter inside. Then you just randomly sprinkle it throughout your laminating pouch. And if you use sequins, use the flat sequins. Don't use the sequins that have um, a little... I don't know how to explain it, but they're not flat. I always use a flat sequin. Okay, now I'm going to use this glitter. I'm just going to sprinkle it. Oop, I didn't mean to put that much. Lightly sprinkle. I made a mistake and really got heavy handed with it. And this is going to be sealed up and um, wrapped up just like a chip bag. Another thing, these actual paper pieces that I'm going to be using, you can also put these on the inside of the bag if you want to. Um, I am going to put these on the outside. Uh, for this design, I put the balloon at number five inside the laminating pouch and laminated it on the inside. Uh, the happy birthday and the flower, I kept that on the outside. Okay, so what I'm going to do now See, I might want to add another color. Let me add, I'm going to add a few of these little gold little sequins. Okay, now what I'm going to do is fold over, carefully fold over the top. And I'm going to take this over. I'm going to slide it up a little bit because I want the machine to grab it. Once it grabs hold of it, I'll just simply hold my mat under it to try and keep it stable as it goes through so that all of my sequins will not fall out. Okay, it went in kind of crooked, but it's in there. So we're going to let the machine laminate my glitter and my sequins inside that pouch. Any laminating machine will work. This is, I have several laminating machines, but the one I'm using now is Amazon. And be careful of the size if you plan to order it because they have some that will not fit an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So just make sure that when you do get it, you get the size that you prefer. Okay, so we're going to let that cool. So this is what we've come out with. We have all of our glitter and sequins that have been laminated into the pouch. Okay, so we're going to let that cool for a minute. Then we're going to start the assembly. And what you're going to need for the assembly is double-sided tape. It's going to have to be 
uh, some tape that can really hold because the plastic is not like paper. Uh, so you're gonna need something that really has a good hold. And so this tape I use has a really good hold on it. And get all your other pieces together. And so I have the pieces that I want to use on it. The trim for the top and the bottom. I am going to use this trim and what I do is fold it in half and just like this one here. I fold it in half and I have this scallop trim on the top and the bottom. Okay. Okay, so now it should be ready. So what I'm going to do is, and you just pick which side looks the best. And I think this side looks the best. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put some tape on one end. And I'm going to put two strips of tape on this end. I'm going to put two strips of tape. This is going to close it along the back of the bag. And once I remove this backing from this double-sided tape, it's not very noticeable through the bag. Okay, so I'm going to get my backing off, my double-sided tape. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it over so that they meet in the back. Okay, so I'm going to just lay it down here and make sure your top is lined up, that you covered your tape that you have on the back. So now you have just a round little cylinder. And just put your hand in there and make sure you have it sealed really good. Okay. And now what you're going to do is make sure the front and back meet at the bottom. You want to line your bottom up. And you want to staple it. Don't go up too high with your staple because your trim is going to cover that up. And you're going to put one more. I like to put five at the bottom. Then for the inside, you're free to put in whatever treats you like. Um... What I'm going to do is just put in some Hershey Kisses and some candy canes. But you can put in any type candy you like. Because before you seal it, you want to make sure you have what you want inside. Okay, so I'm just going to put that in there and now I'm going to seal up the top I'm going to make sure my top is lined up at the in the middle then I'm going to go out along the sides okay so this is what I have this is my little see-through treat bag okay so now we're going to get to the decorating side of it so I'm going to take this, I'm going to fold it in half. I created this uh, in Cricut Design Space. And so this is going to be the trim for the bottom of my bag. And I am going to fold that over. And 
and I'm going to put tape here and here because I'm going to seal it to the front bottom and the back bottom of our transparent treat bag. This is decorative and it also closes in uh, treats that you have. Okay, so I'm gonna let, let's take the bottom and line it up with the fold that I already have in this. Make sure that it's in the middle of the bag. Okay, so this is the bottom. Now I'm going to work on the top, get it folded over. Double-sided tape on this. And then we'll apply this to the other end of our bag. And this is nice because a lot of the kids nowadays, they have those see-through purses. And so this is just fun for the kids. And I hear too, a lot of the companies, if you're gonna bring a person to the factories and stuff you work in, it has to be a see-through purse. I didn't know that, I heard that from someone that works in the warehouse. Okay, so we're gonna line this up. The center of our bag and we're gonna fold it over. Okay, so this is how the front of our bag is looking so far. And that's the bag. So now we're gonna continue with our decor. And I am going to place our balloons. Let me see, do I want it all on one side or? Okay, I think I got a, I think I got a placement here I'm happy with. So I'm gonna put some tape on the balloon. Oh, should say balloons. And I'm gonna pull off the backing of this double-sided tape. I'm gonna place my balloon. And I'm gonna put some tape on the back of a little mermaid here. And then we're going to put the happy birthday up here at the top. You can add whatever um, design pieces you want. Like I said, either to the inside of the laminate pouch or on the outside of your bag. Okay. So this is our transparent treat bag. This is the bag. I think it came out so beautiful. And here's the other one I showed you I made. And in the back, you can't even tell where the tape is. So that's another good thing with the double-sided tape. This is the LOL doll bag here. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.